Hello everyone and welcome to ESO with me your host Crypto at Crypto Gamer. In today's video guys we are going to be taking a look at polymorphs. And the first polymorph that we are going to be taking a look at is a Cursed Death. A Cursed Death was a polymorph that was brought out with um, some of the Halloween crown crates that happened around about uh, back of September uh, through to the start of November. And a Cursed Death as a polymorph will also override any personalities that you have and give you a particular way on how you walk. It will also it also looks incredibly cool. It's really good for necromancer characters um, or even dark sorcerers. I really like it. It's one of my favorite polymorphs that I got. You can only get this in the crown store. Right, our next one is the Factotum. Factotum is a robot like a uh, polymorph and what it basically does is it overrides the entire personality as well like a curse of death did and it also changes your idle animations as well this can usually be purchased in the crown store when the clockwork city event is on comes in relatively cheap I'm, but I'm not sure how many crowns Moving on, <clears throat> we shall take a look at the Shadow Silk Goblin. And this is a really cool polymorph, this is one of my favourites, it shortens your character a little bit and it also allows you to um, have a new personality. I really like it because um, there is actually a disguise that you can get in one of the Overland DLCs that you can change your appearance into one of these goblins but this is a more permanent feature it rarely comes into the crown store but you can always send a ticket to Zoss and ask them whether they could allow you to purchase it for crowns it's a little bone fact I don't know and this is the pumpkin spectre the pumpkin spectre was a another one that was brought out during the witches festival also along with the Scare Scroll Spectre. And I really like the Pumpkin one. The, the Scare Scroll is quite good, but I prefer the Pumpkin one. It's nice and luminous, and it's really fun to play with during Halloween. Doesn't have any uh, overriding personality traits. It basically... Um, just does what it says on the tin. <clears throat> now, this is a skin that you can actually earn in game in the Imperial City DLC. So, if you have ESO Plus, you'll have access to this, or you can buy the DLC, which I would highly recommend. This is the Zifkin Augur, and the Zifkin is quite a cool polymorph. I really enjoy it. So what you're going to do is, when you get into the Imperial City, you are going to go down here. I'm in the Ebon Heart Pact. And to the left here, there is a merchant, an Argonian merchant. Now, each of these polymorphs are 250k in tell bar stones. 250,000 in effect, which will take quite a while to amass. So you're going to need three quarters of a million just to get this particular polymorph. Or you can get these wee boxes here, and there's a small chance. I actually got two of the polymorphs in a row by doing that. So yeah guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. This is Crypto Gamer. have a good day.